Here's another prototype for the Node server family. It's called the Pocket Server. As the name suggests, this is an on-the-go battery adapter for the Pi Zero W, allowing you to carry out a variety of portable wireless tasks in person. The Pocket Server basically combines a custom PCB with a charge boost board and a 500 milliamp power LiPo battery. Assembly is pretty simple with a 3D printed protector covering the PCB which stops the battery and other components from being touched. And the actual connection between the board and the Pi Zero is through two pogo pins which push up against the 5V and ground GPIO pins underneath the Zero. To connect it you simply screw it into place. The entire thing then slides into a 3D printed cover which further protects the Zero. The PCB is slightly wider than the rest of the parts and this is so it can slide into the groove in the cover keeping everything in place. An end cap also snaps on to stop anything from touching the electronics and shorting something when it's in a bag or your pocket. The dimensions of the device measuring at 72mm long, 37mm wide and 17mm thick. Weight comes in at around 35 grams. So using this is pretty simple, you just pull the computer out using the ridged handles on each side and then set the switch to the on position to power everything on. One thing to mention is that since it's a smaller and cheaper charging board it has less features than say an Adafruit power boost so you'll need to turn the switch to the on position when charging through the micro USB port. The battery is the same 50-30-35 type that Adafruit sell and they suggest not charging at over a 500 milliamp rate so I'd recommend using a USB 2.0 port on a computer just as a further safety precaution. Depending on how hard you're pushing the zero you can get around 3 hours worth of battery on a single charge. That means it's ideal for access point type applications like as a file sharing device or ad hoc chat room with a pirate box. I suspect it could also be useful for some pen testing applications, especially in-person captive Wi-Fi portals or Bluetooth analysis. As always, the design files for both the PCB and case, along with the component lists, are available on the Node site. I'd be interested to see how you guys can modify the design to make it even more useful. And if you do have any ideas on how it can be improved, email them to me. In the meantime, I think I'll make a small batch for testing and put them on the shop. Alright. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.